way we went to set the rockers got it warm this one was a bit loose and uh took the push rod out it was a bit out of going to say the least lucky we caught it pretty early but we made a few calls couldn't find one it's starting to be a bit of a dampener on the spirit and kyle heard us talking out loud and he's like what size are they and he he's got a fair few spares he doesn't want anything to ruin his weekend and happen to have a spare one that will uh be good enough for us anyway burn up four of them he reckons he'll be here all weekend here we go first pass Six twenty at only two oh four mile an hour. We'll uh, go see how it looked on the data. Just got back only four oh three to half at one seventy eight. Only one oh one for the sixty foot. So we're gonna look at the data now. Turn it around. Yeah, well, and um, should be pretty good. Getting the car turned around now. Dad's in looking at the data. Engine wise, done. Trans cooler on at the moment. Cow's about to pack the shoots and I'll double check these shock adjustments to make sure they're where we want them. Here we go! Not bad. You make glasses, Harley? You should. Like, I remember you saying it to me, there wasn't a nine on the, in the 16 foot, there wasn't a nine in the number. Yeah. Guess one, what the oh, number was? 1009. Oh, oh, 0.999. You serious? <laughs> There wasn't a nine in it. <laughs> it was three nines. Not nothing but nines. Yep, that's what he said. Oh, for focuses. Three nines. It wasn't a nine in the time card. Three nines in the 60 foot. Mum and Bradley are getting the barbecue going. Uh, Caleb and I are about to jump under, adjust the ride height, and um, rear spread in the fall length. We'll see how we go. Hopefully, we go now. We'll uh, get it sorted. So they must be having a bit of a team meeting here. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on. What's going on under here? Uh, just things and stuff and stuff and things. We're measuring up the fall length and all our adjustments and um, going to see where we're going to go from here. All ready to go out. Fall length change, ride right height change. You start it up and it runs, packing the parachutes. Perfect, we're ready to go out and from what we know, the falling should be good. If the track's there, hopefully we get a number. Here we are, walking to the lanes. Big rig coming in now. That's good today. Two other people in the lanes. Last pass of the night. Running behind Boogie Man. Should be a good pass. The track looks all right. What did we go? Uh, one double O to the 60 foot, 405. Oh, I'll have to have a look at the data. Definitely separated a lot nicer and um, was a cleaner pass. 
got back to the pits after that last pass, had a well, look at the data and stuff. And that, um, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to take the pan off it, just um, check all the bearings and uh, make sure the engine's running healthy so, you know, we don't get any surprises on the rest of the weekend. We'll take the gearbox out and um, we're just blowing through the converter. So we're going to put a tighter stator in it just to get more drive and we'll see how we go with that with the changes. The four link worked great. Um, separation, had good leverage and um, did have everything we wanted it to do. Just, um, just the converter. You can see from the data and the times. So we're cooling it down now. We've got the engine crane and our jig, and we're gonna pull it up and change the uh, stator. Well, I'm taking the tail shaft off. Dad's got the sump out. Got a cap off rod number seven by the looks of it. How's it looking? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Looks, looks brand new by the looks of that. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's looking pretty good under there. There's some big black sandwich. So, yeah. Like well, uh, George Gorks. Like the sun Ooh, back on by the looks of it. Like it's hot. <laughs> Crank's still hot by the sounds of it. Yeah, looking pretty good. How's the thrust bearing look? Did you get a bit of a look at it? Oh, I checked it. No, it didn't fall fine. off. I just give it some end flight. Yeah. So they checked the end flight and it was fine. Perfect. Get the sun back on. I'm paying that. Slide apart jig we got. Made it up so we can take the uh, trans out with the uh, engine crane. Are we even changes what time it is? What time is it? Oh, 40. 40. Yeah, well, I'll hold it in. Fill it in. Thanks, Mark Mickey. Perfect. Gearbox out of the car. Not Converter out here. Um, she is still red hot. Had trans cooler on it a bit, but still going to be hot. And um, yeah, we'll leave it here. End it off for the night. Day two of midnight mayhem this morning. It's all happening here. Converter's cool, so split it this morning. Haven't spilled a drop of oil yet. Sucked it out, then split it. Suck some more out the pump and um, change stators. Have a look at clutches. Give it a bite. Looking pretty good. Steel's looking good. Let's um, put it back together with the different stator. Gearbox going back in the car now. Should be good. Gearbox sitting in now. We just got to do up all the bolts and start it up and see if it uh, put it back together right. What's happened here? Took the cover off and and come out the push rod. And um, over on this other side of the inlet. So it looks like the collet's got stuck down the valve, so hopefully it hasn't damaged it. Um, yeah, well I have to see if we, we do a compression test, then we'll see if we can find a push rod, if that's okay. and. Then we'll see if we can switch it over. We've got a spare rocker, which is good. And uh, we'll go from there. Valve tool for a 481X, bit too wide for this LS. So um, we're going to have to do something. We've got the grinder out. Cutting up some brackets from uh, Bunnings. So what are you doing now? Finding top, top dead center. For what reason? Just so the pistons at the top, so they don't have to fill as much air into the cylinder. The whole pressure. Should see the needle start to go back the other way as the piston rocks over in the ball. Getting close now. Yep. And yeah, there we go. Stop that top. So yeah, compressors kicked in. Eight percent leakage and um, replacing the collets now and spring back on should be ready to go find a new push rod for it put another one of our rockers on see if it works taking the intake off now gotta um check the lifters and make sure they're gonna be all good one popped out the thing make sure it's not damaged keyway all right and, uh, 
Hopefully it's all good. Back together again. Yeah, six of them. Yeah, that's the right one. Can we lift them up some more? Yeah. In there. Just went in. So that's good. They're not damaged and see how we go. Back together. Gonna start it up now. See how we went. But everything looking good. about to prep the track so we're gonna go sit in the lanes and um, get down in the tracks there in the tunnel now track prep underway we're waiting to go out let's get it done come on let's get this emotional roller coaster down the track Six one six. If I'm bad, motherfucker of a wheel stand. The I saw the pedal. Got out. Here's the slip. Woo! Nine five nine on the sixty on the back fucking wheels. Same rocker, exact same spot happened, and the one beside it come off the push rod again. Exactly the same thing that happened this morning. So um, gonna take a part, see what we can do, and um. See what happens. Stu's got the old uh, valve springs off his Hemi, so um, might be able to steal them for this thing. Because we think what the problem is, is the valve springs going a bit off and it's floating. Push rod will come out this one. Push rod slips out and then the, obviously the springs keep closed and then the pressure, cylinder pressure when this one goes to open, breaks the alloy rocker because they're only an alloy rocker and then that's what causes our problem, so we're going to try, because um, it'll have a fuck ton of cylinder pressure and it tries to open it and just snaps the end off the rocker. So um, we'll uh, change the spring on that one, we'll see what the tension is and see if we can fix it. Here's the dude that broke. Look how similar that is. That's crazy, that's unreal. So, yeah. alright, it's heartbreaking and emotionally shattering it is, we're going to have to there. There's probably needle rollers through the motor. We don't want to fuck anything else up. Um, had a look at the data. Well, we did. We went 0.959 on the back wheels with an LS. So we went 393 and then at 4.4 seconds here on the data, we lost that cylinder where the uh, rocker broke and we went through for 616 from point. 4.4 seconds on seven cylinders and still went 216 mile an hour. So uh, you guys could probably do the math, but you're gonna have to come out soon. We'll get a fix, change what we want to change because we know what's happening and we know what needs to be done. And thank you guys for watching, thanks for the support, and we'll be back out again soon. It is 1.30 in the morning. Just finished packing up and tailgate up now. Look at that shiny LS up there. Looking good. 
Brad's taking the big girl home with him and next time we see her, she's gonna be a different color. Can't wait to see it. <laughs>